I grew up here in Chicago and I also grew up in uh, Leeds, Alabama. Um, my grandmother and my mom and them, they're all from there. And so my great grandmother at that time um, was very sick and she had had several strokes. So as a child, I ended up spending more of my childhood there than I did here in Chicago. In fact, I, I missed a lot of school and um, but um, for the most part, I've, I've lived here in Chicago. My creative outlet wasn't directed toward art as it was more an imag imagination. I would tell stories all the time to my sister, whoever would listen. I would just every night continue the story on and on. When I was 29, I really, in the corporate world, you know, I was making good money. I had hours that I liked, but I hated every day. And as I, every year kept passing, I just felt like I had no purpose in life. And, you know, I, I, I said, this can't be it for me. You know, I, I can't just make money and it have zero purpose. You know, stability is fine, but what about the state of mind? What about my spirit, you know, was dying? You know, it was like being, you know, a fairy in a, in a cage. You know, you can't get out and you can't. The observation series began in 2004. And it, I say began, the, the ideal of the observation series did not begin until the, the next year, but the first piece started in 2004 for a show called The Devil Show. It was a friend of mine who was putting this show together and she says, Robin, I, I want you to be part of this show. I said, you know, at that point I'm, I'm doing some digital art, you know, I was, I was trained in school to do digital art too. And, that was real fascinating for me as a photographer, but I was still very much attached to my nature and architecture photography. I loved it, you know. She says, I think you can really come up with something fabulous. And I think that pushed me more into my digital photography. The observation series does not reflect on my illnesses at all. What the observation series is really meant to project is my outlook on life, my, you know, how I perceive, you know, things like religion, politics, uh, humanity. It's about tearing down those superficial layers um, that not only society puts on us or our family puts on us, but that we put on ourselves. I think because my spirit, I felt like, had been depressed for so long, that this series probably does um, project a lot deeper because now, you know, I see things, you know, really very honestly and, and deeply. You know, I'm, I'm concerned on many levels. But I'm not here to stick it to the man, you know, or make, you know, shock art or anything like that. You know, I'm, I'm just here to have a voice as an artist. When I was, um, I think I was not eight or nine, I got Perthes disease in my left hip. That deteriorated the bone. You know, I, I always had different things come on. My mom used to always tell me, she says, you know what? She's like, I don't understand why you have to have all the sickness. And the weirdest shit, too, was never you know, something simple like a flu. You know, I was always sickly. And it was always some rare thing that nobody ever heard of. Um, I think some of that came because, because I'm a big believer in mind over matter. And I believe in the spirit. You know, I don't think that I had a healthy spirit. My what, spirit was what depressed. Because I wasn't allowed or encouraged to be who I was. So it was a, it was a conditions, the social conditions that you were in. Yeah, social, family. I mean, I just felt like you know my spirit wasn't nurtured. 
And I contribute my illnesses to that because I was always just sort of there, but not living, you know? And, you know, sure, I don't get around like everybody else and I, and I can't do certain things that I would love to continue to be able to do. I had a tough skin. I grew up with tough women in my family. And when I mean tough, I mean Amazon tough, you know? And if they saw you were gonna be weak, you had to face them. And <laughs> they were gonna tell you, why are you letting them pick on you, you know? So you got a tongue lashing for just being picked on from your own family. So I made sure that I held my own. And so I, I, was, I was so busy making sure that nobody saw this, you know. So I struggled, but I maintained my level of security. Like I wasn't an insecure individual. I was on the inside, but the outside didn't show it at all. I couldn't allow it to be, but it was really killing me on the inside because I wasn't being who I was born to be.